Hello everyone, welcome to Innovance Network YouTube channel. Today you're going to be witnessing yet another demo on the interactive flat panels. Presently, we have AccuTouch's interactive flat panel available with us in our experience center. This is a US-based company headquartered in Michigan. AccuTouch is the only global brand of interactive flat panels which is authenticated by a renowned research educational organization named STEM.org which abbreviates as Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. Now let's start off with the hardware of this device. This device comes with an inbuilt speaker which has an amazing sound clarity. And to talk about the build quality, it uses industry grade materials with MOHS 7 rated glass for its display screen which is almost scratch proof I would say. And as you can see it comes with a thin bezel and also a protective back layer. This device comes with a built-in Wi-Fi connectivity for your wireless con internet connection options and also a LAN port for your wired internet connectivity options. It is powered by an Android operating system which can also be integrated by a Windows or an Apple iOS using a PC or a, even your laptop. To connect various devices, we have multiple port options for you which can be accessed over here using uh, your VGA or an AV. You can even connect your setup box using this YB, PPR or DP for your PC and three HDMI uh, slots for your HDMI options as well. And you also have three plus USB ports wherein you can connect multiple USB options as well. And another important hardware feature about AccuTouch Interactive Flat Panel is its Super Glide writing surface. For example, you see the way I write on this It's as smooth as writing on a piece of paper. So this is very smooth and very seamless to write on. This is a very interesting feature about the hardware of AccuTouch. Now we are going to be seeing about the whiteboarding software with AccuTouch which is called AccuWrite. And AccuWrite is one of the world's best whiteboarding software for interactive flat panels. Now let's begin. Depending upon the brightness of my room or even about the subject I'm about to teach, I can choose from different backgrounds for my writing board. For my writing tools, I get to choose from different ink colors. For my thin pen, I choose the color blue and the thickness size accordingly. And for my thick pen, I choose the color green and the thickness size accordingly. Now I demonstrate by writing something on my whiteboard. So once I start writing, you can see how smoothly the board detects my ink. And that is what is the Super Glide writing surface about. Now you can see once I finished writing, with just a flip of the pen, I get to use the different color. This avoids me from going to my tools and choosing a different color. Especially for underlining, I can use this tool or even for highlighting. And now to erase the content on my whiteboard, I can use the palm gesture to erase the content and by mistake, if I erase anything, I can get it back with my undo option. And now if I want to erase everything on my whiteboard, I can just use the delete option to delete all the content on my screen. Now once I have an empty screen, I get an option of adding another page or even to explain a new topic on this particular screen. So now let me start by writing a new topic and once I've completed my point or my topic I want to include or I want some more space on the screen. So what I do with my three finger gesture I'm able to move the content to the left or to the top and get more space on my screen. And this feature is also not available on all the interactive flat panels. They come with basically limited space with which once you've completed the writing space, you'll have to definitely add another page. But with the AccuTouch, you get infinite space in your writing board. And now we are here on our page number two. And here I would like to bring in an image, which I already have it saved on my USB drive, which is connected to the device. So I browse my files and I, here I've got the human stomach. And now I would like to explain about this picture. I can even resize it or rotate it to any size or preference I want. And once I have my preference, I can move it to the left or right and place it anywhere on my screen for my convenience. 
and once I tick that I have an option to annotate on the image directly. So this way I'd be able to explain any image on my locally saved drive and bring it on my screen and explain about it. And now onto this page I would like to bring in some patterns. Now I just go to the pattern option, choose it, activate the pattern option and now just use my stylus to drag it by choosing the pattern and I get the images. This way I can bring out any patterns without the difficulty of getting worrying about the size or the shape of it. Now also I can start in annotating inside it. Now I'll name it A, B and C. Now another interactive feature with AccuTouch is AccuWrite Writing Board software is its split screen option. You get an option to split the screen into two or three equal parts, wherein you can bring three of your viewers to come and write different things or solve different equations on the screen. Now that was some intuitive features about AccuTouch's AccuWrite Writing Board software. There is another interesting feature which is the annotation feature with which I can annotate on anything available on my Android screen. Now, for example, I have a web page available for you on the browser. Now, I would like to annotate on this particular web page. So, I use my two finger gesture to get the floating toolbar. This floating toolbar, I can place it anywhere on my screen. And now, I have the pen tools option. I choose that, I get my pen tools. And with which, I can directly start annotating on my screen. Now once I have annotated over here and I would like or to explain more about this content on my whiteboarding software. So I have an option to bring this content to my whiteboarding software. So I clear the things on this and here I can capture the screen. So once I select this, I have a box with which I can capture my screen. So once I select that, I can directly get this content to my whiteboard and with which I can start explaining on my whiteboard. I can resize it to any size. I can paste it anywhere. And once I click on this, I get to annotate. On the image, I brought it from my screen. So this way, I get more space to explain my content. And now, if I want to highlight on a particular portion on this screen, what I have is a spotlight toolbar with which I can just select on it and you see it dims all the content apart from what I want to highlight and this way I can explain a particular content on my screen. So this size also can be adjusted based on my requirement. Once I've finished explaining my content for my viewers, I have an option to share as well as save my content. To share my contents, I have four different options wherein I can export notes, import notes, or share it through an email, or share it through a QR code, or even upload it to my network desk. Now I'll show you how to share through QR code works. So once I click on that, it'll ask me whether to share my current page or all the pages. So if I click on my current page, the QR code will be generated, which I pull out my phone, be it an Android or, or an Apple phone, you'll be able to scan the QR code, you'll get a code, and with which you can go to the website, and my content is shared to my phone. So this way I'll be able to share all the pages or a single page. And now I want to save my content. Now you can see there's a save option over here. Clicking on which will bring out the, this dialog box where I have three options to save it locally or on the USB which I've attached or the current page or all the pages and two different formats. One is on your PNG, that is your image file or the other one is the PDF file. Since this interactive flat panel operates on an Android platform, you get an option of downloading and installing various applications. For example, for your video and audio conferencing solutions, you have video and audio conferencing applications. For educational services, you have educational applications. And for your leisure, you always have your gaming applications and your video and your audio software through which you can play your default audio and video files as well. And now I would like to explain a presentation to my viewers. So I have an option of using the office application and now I have my presentation over here and using the annotation tools I can even annotate on this presentation or I can just move through slides and start explaining about my presentation. So now for example I would like to annotate so I just bring my annotating the pen tools and I directly start annotating.
So these are the most important and the highlighted features of this particular device. This brings us to the conclusion of yet another review video of an interactive flat panel. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more informative videos on the education technology, products and services. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave it in the comment section below. We are looking forward to answering at the earliest and also open to suggestions too.